Nutrient pollution in coastal waters is a serious global problem. When pollution like nitrogen from fertilizer, sewage, or urban runoff enters waterways, it can cause algae to grow out of control. These algae blooms smother seagrass, kill fish, and result in oxygen depleted water called dead zones. We know that bivalves like oysters filter a lot of algae out of the water, but what about the source of the problem, nitrogen? Can oysters be used to remove nitrogen and help clean up pollution? Oysters can potentially remove nitrogen in three ways. First, when oysters eat algae, some of the nitrogen in that algae is assimilated into the oyster tissue. When farmed oysters are harvested, this nitrogen is pulled out of the water, helping improve water quality. However, most of the nitrogen in the algae that oysters eat is not assimilated. It's actually processed or rejected and falls to the sea floor. Some of this material may stay where it is and eventually be buried, which can also keep nitrogen out of the water. Alternatively, it can be transformed by microbes into other forms of nitrogen that return to the water. One of these microbial processes, called denitrification, produces nitrogen gas, a form of nitrogen that most algae can't use. This gas will eventually diffuse out of the water, again, removing nitrogen and improving water quality. So how much nitrogen can these three processes actually remove? We measured these at an oyster farm in Virginia and found that harvest removed the most nitrogen, that burial can also be significant, and that denitrification was relatively small. Collectively, these processes could remove much of the nitrogen pollution entering the water around the farm. This removal is great news for water quality. Oysters aren't perfect, however. Another microbial process in the mud under oysters can produce a form of nitrogen that algae like to use. This form, just like nitrogen from fertilizers, can be used by algae over and over again, potentially counteracting the benefits of all that removed nitrogen. In our study, this addition of nitrogen to the water was big, really big, even larger than harvest. So does this counteract the benefits of nitrogen removal? Well, we're still not sure, and it likely depends on location. For example, whether or not ocean flushing can wash away the nitrogen before it causes problems. We need to study this more in different locations. In conclusion, oysters can be effective pollution fighters in some settings, but they can also cause unexpected problems that require more science to understand.